back to Paris Sports Update. Time to check in with Vince Basketball. I'm joined by head coach Andy Bronkema. Coach, welcome to the show. Thanks, Robert. I know uh, last week uh, you were coming off a difficult trip against Lake Superior State, but uh, back at home. And nice to come back and get uh, two big wins uh, here at home this past weekend. It's good to be at home. Um, if you look at basketball all across the nation and you look at team's home record versus their away record, it's, it's quite different. And uh, it's just, you know, the dimensions of the court and the hoop and are the same. The hoops are the same. 10 feet and it's just but there's all the things that go with it so it's hard to play on the road and it was nice to be back home we got a couple big victories but uh, you know that's that's just how it goes so you got to be road warriors too. One thing that hasn't been the same uh, your lineup's kind of been changing uh, here with uh, guys kind of in and out but uh, obviously uh, you've uh, been finding different ways to kind of win basketball games. Yeah I, I, I like the way the guys are trying to step up and it's a good lesson also as soon as you think, you know, that your role is cemented in, in a certain way, and we ask our guys to be stars in their role regardless, you know, your role can change. And if you're not ready for it, you know, then you're, you're going to be letting the team down, and, you know, you might miss an opportunity that's even greater moving into the future. So there's all sorts of stories throughout the, you know, years of how somebody had an opportunity, you know, out of the blue, took advantage of it and never looked back. So some guys are stepping up and really you see a lot of that in, in, in practice. So it's, it's good that it goes, translates into the game. It has to, we need it to, but you, you don't typically, <clears throat> unless you're really desperate, you don't, you don't just put somebody in the game and, and hope that they perform like that one time three weeks ago in practice on that one play. <laughs> they have to do it consistently. They gotta be playing with intensity, paying attention to the scout, asking great questions, showing up early, staying late, asking for extras, getting their therapy. I mean, they have to be really into it. And if they can do that, then when it's their opportunity, we have more, more than uh, happy to give them a chance. These are the highlights. Uh, we'll start with Thursday's game against Saginaw Valley. And Saginaw Valley, a good basketball team that uh, obviously beat you um, at a home at their place uh, just a couple weeks ago. And nice to see your guys come back and really compete in this ball game. Yeah, I thought, um, I thought we did just that. Right, and we kind of missed some opportunities up at uh, Lake State to compete. And in this game, we competed for 40 minutes, and uh, we needed to because it's a very talented team. You can see in these highlights the level of difficulty in the shots. So we're penetrating, dropping off for for layups, and they're hitting, you know, fade away, kick your leg out jumpers, um, and, and and they can do that. So they also had a few of their role players step up, make some big shots. Um, I thought they, they played well, but we made just enough plays. And, uh, you know, here, that's, a, that's a shot with a hand in your face, and uh, they can drain those. So and at, at their place, um, at their place, the, the real difference was we turned the ball over that led to points for them, you know, easy transition. We, we made them score over top of us in the half court a little bit better this game. If you talk about what uh, Jimmy Schroeder's kind of meant to your team, uh, came in to do this game, stepped into the starting lineup, and had a double-double. Yeah, so, um, you know, both these teams play a lot of lineups with uh, four guards. You know, so, you know, J Jimmy is a lot bigger than, than people think, right? You're sitting in the stands, and everybody out there is pretty big, so you don't know, but he's all a 6'3", you know, in between 205 and 210. And... Uh, He's just a really smart player, so he can guard a lot of different positions. So we, we put him in there um, knowing what he could give us, and he's a great rebounding guard too, uh, very good rebounding guard, and, uh, you know, slid Dane to the floor a little bit more. But that's, look, we have a whole roster of guys, and we got more guys too, uh, more guys. I thought Jordan Brooks played well this week, and, um, you know, Owen's still developing, and we, get, we got more guys underneath of them um, that, you know, should be ready. Could be ready, might be ready, might be ready, you know, this week or you know next year. But I, I believe in the roster we have, so you know, I, I get pretty surprised when we put them in there and they don't perform. Um, it, it, it shocks me because I, I think we got really good players. A big win over Saginaw Valley, and you came back, uh, took on Wayne State, and a team that's uh, been much improved uh, here over the course of the season on Saturday. Oh my goodness! And it's just it's also college basketball for you, right? When you're fighting for tournament time and you're fighting to get in and when eight seeds win conference tournaments you know pr pretty much year after year some somebody out there a couple eight seeds get hot and win the conference tournament and uh, there's just a ton to play for so 
And these scores are not that different between teams toward the top of the league and teams toward the bottom. You know, you're talking about one or two possessions in these games, um, which is fun for the fans, but, you know, <laughs> it's stressful. This one, uh, obviously, uh, Ethan Erickson had a big offensive game for you. Um, kind of led you guys in scoring, and Ben Davidson able to hit some big shots as well. Yeah, and then a great pass by, by Ben there. But Ben's been playing really well lately, very consistent. It's nice to have that. You know, Ethan, I was proud of Ethan just because, you know, I, I challenge these guys a lot to be as close to perfect as they can, realizing that that's impossible. But I thought there was a couple effort plays on defense where he, he just kind of was in the right position but didn't really – compete and uh, you know I was really getting after him and uh, he didn't quit he just you know dropped 26 points and helped us win the game so when you got guys that can do that and then you know he's getting bumped off here a little bit you got to stay in a stance but dang coming up with you know double digit rebounds and um, doing the things that he did this week and just really probably just starting to play his best basketball off of back-to-back -back ACLs so just been patient with him and you know, he stepped up big, and you know, I thought this was a great play by Dang right here because he had a chance to shoot that three, but instead fakes it, hands off to Ethan, lets Ethan shoot it, and that's a real mature play. And I, I wish they would have put Vaius' earlier shot on the highlights just so I could tease Vaius. He airballed it by three feet, and then he had the guts to come back and drain the next one, which is what basketball is all about, right? You get coached up. This is a foul, Robert. Um, you get coached up. And then you're expected to make the right play, but you got to bounce back, you know, with enough, you know, confidence to make the next one. And our guys did that this week, and that's why we won. You know, the players won won these games for sure. Obviously, this week on the road at Grand Valley State and Davenport, kind of like the women's team, two big games, and they're they're all important uh, here in terms of some of the postseason implications. Yeah, a lot of implications. You start looking at it that way, it messes with you. So what you do is you just put together a game plan, believe in the things that you believe in and give everything you have. But if you start letting yourself go down those roads, last year we went there, they got off to such a great start. Then even when we played them in our place, they got off to a great start. So we have to come out hard um, with some intensity to meet their intensity um, that, I, that I think that they've started games with. So that's a big thing for us. This is gonna be a big game, a fun game. And uh, again, we talked earlier on the show about life on the road. So we have to learn that a little bit better. Um, more than likely, you know, hopefully we can get a tournament game at home. We're fighting for it. It's available. We want to get it. But, you know, life, you go on the road now. Um, if you're fortunate enough to keep playing, you go on the road. So let's get it figured out, um, and let's just keep playing as long as we can and, you know, just keep encouraging these guys to make plays because, man, when they're, when they're on, they make it look good. Well, Coach, thanks for the time. Congrats on the two wins, and uh, best of luck this week. Thanks. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.